Hello, welcome to the User Experience Evaluation course. During this first session, we are going to provide you a set of notions and concepts that will help you throughout the course to, to select the, the right methods and to understand what is User Experience Evaluation. Why do we need to evaluate? We need to evaluate to get informed about the value of your product, getting feedback about your design issues or to better understand the user's experience, letting them to reflect on their needs and the experience will enable us to better understand what we need to design to satisfy, a good, uh, to provide a good experience for the users. If you have a look to this schema, you will see that evaluation is an ongoing process. It's something that it needs to be iterative. It means that you need to evaluate in different phases. In the conceptual phase, in the low fidelity prototype phase, and in the high fidelity prototype phase. So evaluation is present everywhere. When? When do we need to evaluate? As I said before, evaluation is, needs to be done in different design phases or development phases. During the scenarios, when you are doing your sketches or you are working on your concepts, du during early prototypes, low fidelity prototypes like paper prototypes, during high fidelity prototypes or functional prototypes, and, and even when you have a product in the, on the market. Where shall we evaluate? Our evaluation process can be done in, in many places. It can be done in the field, outside. They are called field studies. It can be done in the constraint conditions lab studies or online studies or it can be made by through questionnaires and scales. Who to use? During the evaluation process we can use either experts, UX experts, we can use one user at a time, a group of users, or even a pair of users. What do we evaluate? We can evaluate a product or a service before it is used, during an interaction, during an experience like a uh, asking for the user to perform a task or activity or in the long-term use when users use it for one week one two days or even six months we can study a product or a service before it is used or during um, a snapshot during some certain interactions like two or three clicks or even during uh, an experience that the user has while interacting with, uh, uh, for example, a mobile phone or an app. We can also study uh, the experience of the user or evaluate the experience of, of the user in the long term uh, uh, use, usage, like for one week, two days, three days, or even six months. What, what are, are the, the objects, objects that, that we, we can, can evaluate? Have?
and objects should be seen as a set of interactions. So they are called interactive objects. These are interactive objects can be provided on a screen base, on um, like a platform or a browser or a mobile interface. It can provide also visual, audible and tan tangible interactions. In the second part of this evaluation, we will provide you additional notions on, and concepts on user experience evaluation and also we'll describe uh, what we understand by evaluation procedure, what are the best methods and uh, the most used ones. Uh, and also, we end up with a summary of everything that you need to know in this session.